Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Moser's Meandering Monday. I'm a little sweaty today. I just made it to the top of the Pinnacle, which is the highest point in Crowder's Mountain State Park. As you can see, beautiful view behind me there. Crowder's is way off in the distance somewhere, but I hope you enjoy today's tour. Stay tuned. From Crowder's Creek Elementary, it's about a 30-minute drive north west of our location. The adventure begins at the park entrance, which is near Kings Mountain, North Carolina, just near Gastonia, North Carolina. It includes the peaks of Crowder's Mountain and the Pinnacle, which is what today's video is about. Crowder's Mountain is named for Crowder's Creek, which begins near its base. The stream continues across the land past our elementary school, and ends in Lake Wiley. As you can see from this map, there are multiple trails and access points all over Crowder's Mountain State Park. There are three main sections to the park. The boulders, which will be in a future video. There's also Crowder's Mountain itself, which you can see in the distance this arrow is pointing. You can get to Crowder's Mountain by the Linwood Access. It's a short trail that is very steep, but has great views, and sometimes you can even see Charlotte in the distance. Today's video, though, is about the Pinnacle Trail at the Sparrow Springs Access. To get to the Visitor Center, you'll want to enter here at the Sparrow Springs Access. Of the multiple locations in the state park, this is the only one that has the visitor center. You can go inside and see all sorts of displays and learn a little bit of history about Crowder's Mountain State Park. Today's video is going to focus on the Pinnacle Trail in the state park, which takes you from the visitor center up to the Pinnacle, which is 1,705 feet tall. As you can see by this sign, the Pinnacle Trail is about four miles long from the Visitor Center, and they say it will take about two hours to get to the top and back. The trail begins very level, or flat, and continues that way for maybe half a mile. However, because you are trying to get to the highest point in the park, the trail very quickly starts going uphill. So be ready to get a little workout in. You might end up a little sweaty, and you might get a little hungry, so bring some snacks. When you get near the top, the trail splits into two. On the left, this trail continues to Kings Mountain State Park in South Carolina. It's about 10 miles away one direction. On the right is the trail for today to get to the top of the mountain, otherwise known as the Pinnacle. The trail seems to get even steeper at this point. You'll know you're right near the top when you see this sign. It's just a warning letting you know that there are cliffs nearby that you could fall and get hurt. So be careful when you get near the top. The final section involves climbing up these rock steps all the way up until you get to the clearing and can see the views for miles around. Don't give up at this point. You're almost there. When you get to the top, there are all sorts of boulders and rocks that you can climb on. Um, all sorts of fun to have with up here. Of course, as you saw the sign earlier, it can be dangerous because there is a pretty significant drop off right over here and there's no guardrails or anything like that and every so often in the news you'll hear of somebody who slipped and fell and got hurt so try to stay away from that edge if you're up here when you get to the top you're going to want to take a few minutes and enjoy this view you can see for miles and miles and miles now if you come on the weekend you might have to share this view with a lot of other people because this park does get very busy, especially on Saturdays. 
and especially if the weather is nice. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's just down the road from Crowder's Creek, so it should be an easy trip for you to come and visit sometime. Have a great day.